So I told you guys about sleep training and how wonderful it went. Rhett was seven months and it only took us two nights, you know, two bad nights, and then the third night he slept 12 hours straight. It was awesome. But now he's 10 months and guess what? At 10 months, baby has little separation anxiety. He still doesn't take a bottle or a sippy or anything but me, just dear old mom all the time. And so for his whole life, I've been the only person to ever put him down for a nap or for bed. And it's exhausting and I'm tired and I'm going to a wedding next month. I need to know that my son will be able to sleep through the night when I leave him with you know, a grandparent or a sitter. I went to the library and checked out Solve Your Child's Sleep Problems by Dr. Richard Ferber and my life was changed. So a lot of people think of Ferber as the cry it out method, but that's not the case. The truth is that cry it out is where you just kind of put them in their crib, pop in your earplugs and take a run, or you go do the laundry, or you just get away and you leave them in until they fall asleep, which could be an hour or two. That's not what Ferber suggests. This is actually a progressive waiting technique. So the first night you go in after three minutes, then five, then seven, then ten, and you cap it at what you feel comfortable with. We did twelve. The next night you start at five, seven, you know, nine, twelve. The next night you start at seven. We lay him down awake, drowsy but awake, and we say something quick, you know, I love you, God bless you, sleep tight, good night, and leave the room. And then we go in after three minutes. And instead of staying for a long time or touching him, we go in for just 30 seconds. And the reason that you're only going in for 30 seconds is because you're just really assuring yourself that they're okay, that you don't smell a poopy diaper, that their leg isn't caught in the crib rail, or you know that they're, they're okay. And that's really the main reason. One thing that was an awesome, awesome suggestion is not to stand over the crib because they think you might pick them up. But if you kneel down and you put your arms through the bars, they know, you know, that you're not picking them up, but you can just kind of soothe them with your arms through the bars of the crib. And so another thing to help with that separation anxiety was to give him a lovey or an object that would kind of take place of me because I have been his lovey. Amazingly, he clings to this little chicky. I saw him downstairs playing with it and I thought, well, what if I put that in his bed? So we took the chicky upstairs and he loves it. It's like the size, it's like this big. It's a little yellow chick. And now he sleeps like a boss. And one of my good friends gave me the best advice in the world and she said if you do the four B's at night which is bath, books, breast or bottle and bed to switch the two middle and it instantly naps and bedtime that was like the final piece of the puzzle so now we do bath then I sit with the lights dim but not off like before and I nurse him so we do bath, breast and then I set him up and read him books and then I set him down into the crib and I say okay buddy good night I love you I turn around, I turn off the light, and come back to his crib, put my hands in the rail, sing to just loves me, and I'm out. And I know with Knox, he cut his molars, or whenever he had a new milestone, like walking or talking, suddenly he'd be up in the middle of the night again. So I know this is not the end for Rhett and Mommy and sleep training, and I know there's going to be regression. But I have to say, I do think he is in such a better mood now that he's getting a solid 10 to 12 hours at night at uninterrupted versus when he would cry for me all night. I will say that if you are worried at all about your baby crying and how maybe he's gonna hate you or he's gonna like be mad at you, just so you know, every time Rhett woke up, he was really happy to see me. Even if he had cried during the night, he has like a really short memory. They don't hold grudges yet. So this is the time you know, to help your baby sleep. Thanks for watching. Watch for more and you can see other sleep training episodes um, here on my site. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any. Thanks.